Good morning, good morning, good morning, Friday. Hello, hello, hello. What's going on today? Feels nice out here, but it's going to be very hot and humid here later. Got pop up storms. You know, so. Yeah. yeah it's kind of breezy out here. The sun's popping out right now. And it feels like it's like 70 out here, 69, 70. So. So good morning to everyone out there today, Friday, June 25th, 2021. Yeah. See, the kids haven't gone swimming. Look. Pool cover is still on. Pool cover is still on. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. The rain today is not going to be a washout. Just like, <laughs> we're probably us seeing chance of rain during the day today, 10%. That's it. If that. Because they said after midnight we could get a little bit of rain. But it's mainly north of us, so we might get like a little brief shower or something. That's about it, so. Yeah. Oh. It's congested this morning. Nose all stuffed up. Coughing real bad. Yeah, allergies. All right, take a Zofran here in a minute. I'm nauseated. Yeah, when I cough, my pulse rate got to 130. <laughs> Isn't that weird when you cough? You feel like you got to puke. Your pulse rate shoots up. <laughs> 130s. Right now it's at 106. 106 pulse rate. <clears throat> yeah. It's crazy. It feels nice out here. I just don't like that humidity and heat. With having multiple sclerosis, it makes your uh, symptoms worse when it gets real hot out. Like, you know, like it's in the, in the 90s and hot humidity. It feels like it's 105, 100 degrees out. Sticky, hot. Yeah, that kind of thing. Makes your symptoms worse. You know, blurred vision, double vision, vertigo. You balance problems. You walk like you're drunk. You know what I mean? That kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they gave me some medicine yesterday for my wheezing, but they use that same medicine when I looked on the YouTube for COVID patients. People with breathing problems, COVID patients. But it's a little low dose. It goes up to like so many milligrams. The one they give me is like a two milligram tablet. And it goes up to like, I don't know, 10, 20, 30, or whatever. Same thing President Trump took when he was in the hospital for COVID. Same, same medicine, but I have a, like a baby dose, like a two milligram. And some of them guys, when it's real bad, they give them a higher dose, way higher. But the side effects on it, like, whoa, <laughs> weird, weird, wicked side effects. Yeah, I'm talking like you're puking, hair, hair loss, dizziness, sweating, want to eat more, sweating, eat more, all kinds of muscle spasm, hiccups is on there too. All, I mean, the list goes on and on. I can be talking for 20 minutes on the side effects of that crap. That's what kind of medicine they give me. They give me medication that has wicked side effects all the time. So, <laughs> if that tells you anything, you know what I mean? A lot of people say, well, they don't have some medicine don't have side effects. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people say medicine doesn't have side effects. They do. Or I'll get a message on my phone from a friend or somebody on Facebook say, they should give you medicine that has no side effects. I'm like, oh, okay, really? Really, dude? Really? Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wish. I wish medicines didn't have side effects. But they all do. Even pain medicine has side effects. Yep. Yep, they all have side effects. They sure do. So, yep. I just took my blood pressure medicine not too long ago. And then I started getting real nauseated. I'm thinking it might be that blood pressure medicine. Lysinopril, 10 milligrams. It's not a very high dose. I've been on a 10 milligram for like the past four years. Four years, maybe five years, I don't know. But I just take it in the morning and it gives you that ACE inhibitor cough. You know what I mean? You can look it up on the internet. It's ACE inhibitor cough. You know, stuff like that. Nauseated. Coughing, 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 coughing. You know. Hack and coughing, you know, it's crazy. Yep. Still working on this house, trying to get this house. I've been approved. Idea is my wife is spending the down payment money going on shopping tree with it. I'm like, 
She says, I ain't got it now. I said, well, you better tell the landlord that because he put all this money in this house buying a central air unit, the hot water heater and all that. You better tell him you're going on a shopping spree with that money. I keep on telling her, you gotta have that money at closing. It's no IOUs, you know what I mean? They don't put it on the loan. You gotta pay it at closing. Then they say I have to pay my car down. I got the money for that, but I'm not gonna do that if you don't need the money for down payment. So we're supposed to get down payment assistance. The guy's supposed to call sometime today, hopefully. I left a message last night in the voicemail. We'll see what happens, because they got a grant out there, $7,500 for down payment assistance on your uh, first time home buyer. I didn't know about it, so somebody told me about it. This, this, uh, the mayor the mayor of the city told me that yesterday. I'm like, okay, and he sent me a message from a messenger. So we'll see. We'll see. See if that guy calls me. If not, I'll try to call him, see what the deal is on it. You know what I mean? I know a landlord said I can wait till next year, but the interest rates are low now. You know what I mean? They're very low now, and next year they might be higher. You know what I mean? And plus that grant might not be around. That $7,500 grant might not be around too. So that's why I'm trying to get it done today. Well, not today, but I'm trying to get it done here here with in the summertime. I'm trying to get it done, you know, during the summer. Get it all done. Because I'm paying over $800 a month rent anyway for the past six, seven, seven years. Seven years? Yeah, almost $900 basically. It's not 900, it's almost. It's like in the 800s I'm paying for rent here every month. And if I get a mortgage, it'll be six something. Almost 700, so I'll be saving almost almost $200 a month. You know what I mean? That's what taxes and taxes, insurance and everything included. Since I'm disabled, they have a program here where they knock 40, you pay taxes on, they knock $40,000 off your home value. So this house is 100,000, I'll be paying taxes on 60,000, not 100. You still pay taxes now. Listen, you're not getting out of paying taxes, but you to get a, a break and knock forty thousand dollars off the home value, and that's what you pay taxes on. So it's a hundred thousand dollar house. You pay taxes on sixty thousand. Yeah, that's how they do it. Yeah, you don't get away paying taxes. They just give you like a break because you're disabled, elderly and disabled, veterans, stuff like that. They got like a program out here that for that for that purpose. You got to send them. In. You can't just say, oh, well, I'm disabled, blah, blah, blah. You got to show them proof. So I got to send them paperwork. So, for the government and everything. So, that's how that works. You don't just say, hey, and anybody can do it. No, nope, they want proof. They want proof. You know what I mean? You got to give them proof. They want documents, statements, all that. So, they sent me the paperwork to fill out, but I'm waiting to close on the house before I can do anything. I can't just jump the gun and fill it out when I haven't got the house yet. Can't jump the gun. You know what I mean? So, that's how that is, so, yep, sure is, boy, it's a lovely day out here, listen to birds chirp, thank God, it's a lovely day, thank the Lord, I slept good last night, but woke up feeling like crap after I took that medicine, as soon as I took that medicine, within 10 minutes, I'm like coughing and coughing and coughing, yeah, so, my pulse rate right now is around 90s, so, it's pretty good. You know, I don't take my beta blocker till like 11.30, which is probably about three hours from now or whatever, three and a half hour or three hours, because it's like, what time is it here? Yeah, it's quarter after eight here. So, yeah, and I'm praying for the people in Florida, Miami, Florida, that building collapse, that condo building collapse. We got to send prayers to everybody out there, because that's like, you know, unbelievable. It broke my heart. I'm like, oh, and then they showed a video on there, like yesterday, late afternoon. They posted a video, because I guess they had a, camera nearby and it caught, it caught it on camera I'm like oh my god all those people there's people buried down there it's like unbelievable and they said something about the building was due for some kind of inspection or some kind of rehab or something I don't know that that's what I that's what they were saying I don't know I figured them buildings would be sturdy down there along that water bound by, by, by the beach down there by the water because of hurricanes they got a handle hurricane force winds you figure the building be very steady if it can handle hurricane force winds but something happened something happened down there and it's tragic and um you know it's you know they, they I, I bet you there's, there's there's all kinds of people who need that debris and everything it's like unheard of it's like i just can't believe it you know what i mean it's like wow i couldn't even imagine 
what them families are going through right now. You know, Father, Heavenly Father, please help those people. Comfort them. Yes. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yep. I'm always scared of heights anyway. I never get on a plane again after 9-11. I've been on a plane a while, a while back, decades ago. I got on airplanes, but never again. Not after 9-11. Especially when the Homeland Security told me they, you know, they beefed up security big time, but, you know, that's, you know what I mean? It just, I don't know. It's not like, I just don't like feel like getting the plane anymore. Now, if I'm in a car for a long time, I get motion sickness because of multiple sclerosis. So, and then I start puking everywhere. So, I can be in a car, but as long as I'm not going very fast you know, or a long period of time. So, that's why I had people come here. You know, I went to the doctor, what, a few days ago? Is that Monday or Tuesday? So, and they wouldn't give me steroids at the doctor's office. They gave me an inhaler, but they wouldn't give me steroids. And I let her hear my breathing. I think it was Tuesday I went. And, um, yeah, you don't need no inhaler. You don't need no steroids. Well, I'm on steroids now, and the breathing's got better overnight. They got better. You know what I mean? I can see a difference. Feel a difference. It's not 100%, but, yeah, it's different. It's better. And, you know, now I woke up like allergies, like stuffed up nose and coughing nauseated real bad this morning so yeah so yeah you guys have a lovely friday june 25th 2021 and i'm gonna enjoy this weather because it's gonna get hot later yeah they said this afternoon is gonna be hot but pop-up showers we're not probably gonna, we're not gonna see any showers it's mainly north of here if we do it's gonna be a quick sprinkle or something and it'll go away but it's gonna be very hot and humid today Especially over the weekend. The rain chances ramp up tomorrow and Sunday and Monday. All week next week it's got rain in the forecast. <laughs> Almost every day next week. Rain, 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 rain. Yeah, it's crazy. But it feels good out here now. It's got it's like almost 70 and it's like the sun's not out. It's cloudy. I mean the sun is out, but it's it's not humid right now. It's like it feels nice out, you know what I mean? Yeah, the sun's out, see? The sun's in the clouds. See that so you see that or not sun's in the sun's in the clouds so yeah yeah it looks like it's going to rain like north of us north of us i'm looking right now it's cloudy and windy but you know i don't think it is going to rain till like you know 12 hours from now or whatever 10 hours or whatever midnight they said we could see a little bit of rain that's about it but mainly all the rains will stay north of here north of ohio so yeah all righty so yeah, Barb, where you're at, you might get rain later on today. Later on this afternoon, they said, because you're way up north, up near Dayton, Ohio. So yeah, you'll get rain if you're in that area. Storms, I've seen dark red, so they probably get pounded by some storms and some wind and some hail and all that, like the heavy downpour thunderstorms, that kind of storms. But yeah, you guys have a lovely Friday. Thanks for watching and comment down below and please like and subscribe. Uh, much appreciated. Thank you for all your support, everyone out there. I appreciate it very much. Thank you.